Ever wondered why adults fuss about credit scores? Isn't it just for grown-ups? Well, think again, because the world of credit isn't just for those with a 9 to 5. It's a crucial part of your financial journey, and it starts right here, right now, even if you're a college student. So, what's the deal with credit scores? Picture it as your financial report card. It tells lenders, landlords, even potential employers how responsible you are with borrowed money. It's a three-digit number that can open or close doors to some of life's biggest milestones like getting a car, a house, or even a job. But how does it work, you might ask? Your credit score is made up of a few key ingredients. First, there's payment history, how timely you've been with your payments. Then, there's credit utilization, how much of your available credit you're using, the length of your credit history, the types of credit you use, and how often you apply for new credit also play a role. Now why should college students care about this? Well the truth is, your credit journey starts sooner than you think. Having a good credit score can make life after college a whole lot easier. It can help you secure that apartment you've been eyeing, get a better rate on your car loan, or even land your dream job. But I'm still a student, you might say, I don't have a mortgage or a car loan. And that's okay. There are still ways to start building your credit. From getting your first credit card to paying your student loans on time, every little step counts. Remember, your credit score isn't just a number. It's a reflection of your financial responsibility. It's a tool that can help you achieve your dreams. So, don't wait until you're out in the real world to start thinking about it. Your journey to a strong credit score starts now. Ready to dive in? Let's get started on building that credit score fortress. The journey to a strong credit score starts now. Ready to dive in? Behold your first credit card. Exciting, isn't it? But remember, it's not free money. Now I'm sure you're feeling a rush of adrenaline holding that shiny piece of plastic for the first time. It's like a rite of passage into adulthood, right? But hold your horses. This isn't a ticket to a spending spree. Imagine your credit card as a mini loan station that you carry in your wallet. Every time you swipe, you're borrowing money that you promise to pay back. This is where the principle of responsible credit use comes in. You see, the key to managing your credit card lies in understanding that it's a tool for building your credit history, not a source of unlimited funds. Let's start with the basics. When you get your first credit card, it's smart to start with a low credit limit. This simply means the maximum amount your credit card issuer has agreed to let you borrow. It's alluring to have a high limit, but remember it's not about how much you can spend, but rather how well you can manage your spending. Next, we come to the golden rule of credit card usage. Pay off your balance in full each month. Yes, every month. This not only helps you avoid interest charges, but also demonstrates to lenders that you're responsible with borrowed money. It's like acing a test in the school of financial responsibility. Also, try to keep your credit utilization low. That's the percentage of your credit limit that you use. A good rule of thumb is to keep it under 30%. So if your credit limit is $500, try not to spend more than $150 a month. Remember, your credit card is your ally, not your enemy. It's there to help you build a strong credit history that will open doors to better financial opportunities in the future. So treat it with respect, use it wisely, and watch your credit score grow. Remember, your credit card is a tool for building credit, not a ticket to reckless spending. Did you know there's more to building credit than just credit cards? That's right, your financial journey isn't solely tied to that shiny piece of plastic. There are other avenues you can explore to boost your credit score. Consider student loans, for instance. They're not just for covering tuition and textbooks. If you make your loan payments on time, you're showing lenders that you're a responsible borrower, which can positively impact your credit score. Rent payments are another way. Some rental companies report your payment history to credit bureaus. By paying your rent on time, you're essentially giving your credit score a little lift every month. And let's not forget utility bills. These everyday expenses may seem insignificant, but they can play a part in your credit history. Whether it's your electricity, water, or internet bill, timely payments can contribute to building a solid credit score. So, remember, Stay on top of your payments, every little bit contributes to your credit history. In an age of apps and digital tools, why not use them to your advantage? Welcome to the world of technology, where everything is at your fingertips, including your financial future. Budgeting and credit tracking apps have become a game changer in building and maintaining a strong credit score. Imagine having a personal financial advisor right in your pocket, guiding you through your credit journey alerting you to payment due dates, and even suggesting strategies to improve your score. That's exactly what these apps do. From tracking your spending habits to helping you set budget goals, 
these digital tools can be your roadmap to financial success. And let's not forget about credit score apps. These nifty tools give you real-time updates on your credit score, alert you to changes, and even offer tips to boost your score. It's like having a credit score guardian angel watching over you. Knowledge is power. The more you know about your finances, the better your decisions. Mistakes happen, even with credit, but it's not the end of the world. Now let's talk about a few common credit mistakes. One of the most typical ones is missing a payment. Whether it's a credit card bill, student loan installment, or even a utility bill, a missed payment can negatively impact your credit score. But don't despair. If you've missed a payment, take immediate action to pay it off. Most lenders have a grace period, so use it wisely. Another common mistake is maxing out your credit card or in simpler terms, spending up to your credit limit. This can lead to high credit utilization which can lower your credit score. The rule of thumb is to aim for a credit utilization ratio of less than 30%. This means if your credit limit is $1,000, try not to spend more than $300. And let's not forget about the temptation of applying for multiple credit cards at once. It might seem like a good idea to have more options, but each time you apply for a new card, it results in a hard inquiry on your credit report, and too many of these can lower your score. These mistakes are common, but they're not insurmountable. The key is to learn from them. If you've missed a payment, set up automatic payments or reminders. If you've maxed out your credit card, reassess your spending habits and create a budget. And if you've applied for too many credit cards, take a step back and focus on managing the ones you already have. Remember, everyone makes mistakes. The important thing is not to get disheartened by these setbacks. Instead, let them serve as stepping stones on your path to a solid credit score. It's all about turning those mistakes into lessons that can guide your future financial decisions. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, don't hesitate to seek help. There are numerous resources available including credit counseling services and financial advisors who can provide guidance and support. In the grand scheme of things, credit mistakes are just minor bumps in the road. So, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and keep moving forward. Remember it's not about how many times you fall but how many times you get back up. Building a strong credit score is a marathon, not a sprint. Take it one step at a time. We've been on quite a journey today, haven't we? Together, we've demystified the world of credit scores, tackled the excitement of your first credit card, discovered alternative ways to build credit, harnessed the power of technology, and even learned how to bounce back from credit mistakes. Let's quickly recap. Remember, your credit score is like your financial report card, reflecting your responsibility with borrowed money. That shiny first credit card in your wallet? It's not free money, it's a tool. A tool to help you build credit. Use it wisely, start with a low limit, and pay off your balance in full each month. You can also build credit through student loans, rent payments, and yes, even utility bills. In this digital age, let's not forget the myriad of apps out there designed to help you track spending, manage your budget, and boost your credit score. But we're all human, mistakes happen, missed a payment or maxed out your credit card, it's not the end of the world. Take a deep breath, learn from these missteps, and get back on track. Remember, it's not about how many times you fall down, but how many times you get back up. Now I want to leave you with this thought, building credit is a journey. It requires discipline, patience, and a healthy dose of financial wisdom. But trust me, the rewards are worth it. So, take it one step at a time, stay disciplined, and before you know it, you'll be well on your way to a solid financial future. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to ProsperFin TV for more financial wisdom. Until next time, stay financially savvy.